Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. And in this episode of EVs Now, we're going to talk about uh, the Chevy Spark. Now, we're still working on uh, getting uh, two vehicles out here at our shop to do a side-by-side -side, uh, um, you know, actual video presentation. But we haven't worked that out uh, yet with the local dealership. And uh, so anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you the numerical comparison between the gas version of the Chevy Spark and the uh, electric version. So let's take a look. The gas version features a 1.2 liter double grid cam four cylinder engine. It puts out 84 horsepower at 6400 RPMs and 83 foot pounds of torque at 4200 RPMs. And I test drove both of these vehicles, so uh, I have a personal uh, feel for them. And the one that I test drove uh, was the automatic. It's all they happen to have in stock. And it weighed uh, 2,368 uh, pounds. That's with the automatic transmission. Um, it gets 30 miles per gallon in the city and uh, 39 on the highway, 34 combined. Now, on the window sticker, they give you this annual fuel savings, annual fuel cost. Let me give you a little bit of information on that. Uh, the, the fuel costs and savings are based on $3.50 per gallon and 15,000 miles a year worth of driving. Now when we talk about the electric, it, the figure is based on 12, kilowatt, 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So the fuel savings, and this is over five years compared to the average new vehicle. Uh, you figure that one out. They say it's 37.50, annual fuel cost, of $1,550 and the one that I drove was pretty much the base model, didn't have too many bells and whistles on it other than being an automatic I guess um, and it was $13,480 uh, MSRP and driving the thing uh, wasn't uh, a real thrill. I mean, the car kind of reminded me of a Chihuahua. I mean, uh, when you stepped on the throttle, it made noise, but it could hardly get out of its own shadow. Wasn't too impressed. The um, the five speed. Uh, I don't have. They don't have the specs that I could find on the uh, zero to sixty time on the automatic, but I did find on the uh, five speed zero to sixty two miles per hour. Um, which is zero to 100 kilometers in 13 seconds. So my guess is that's probably half the time it took the automatic to get there. That thing was just slow. So let's look at it next to the uh, Chevy Spark e EV. Uh, it uses an AC permanent magnet synchronous motor. It's putting out 140 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque. And it's a little heavier, uh, it's about 600 pounds heavier at 29.89. And it gets 128 miles per gallon equivalent in the city, 109 on the highway for a combined 119. And the fuel savings over five years compared to the average new vehicle is $9,000. Annual fuel cost, $500. And the MSRP on that one was uh, $26,685. This thing was fully equipped. It has a seven or eight inch uh, uh, screen in the center with uh, all your environmental controls, uh, all your uh, monitoring of the uh, fuel economy and all that, well not fuel economy, but uh, 
the electronics, uh, the, the battery state of charge, blah, blah, blah. Um, OnStar, um, you know, um, Bluetooth, heated seats, power windows, locks, mirrors. Um, I think it had like five cup holders. Um, anyway, pretty nice. Ten airbags, you know, they both feature ten airbags. Um, really, uh, for a small four-passenger car, uh, kind of impressive. Uh, the electric was definitely fun to drive. Um, I, 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 would, I would actually probably uh, purchase one of those as far as uh, an OEM goes because it was a, it was a hoot. It handled nice and, uh, and performed well. So, have the, thanks to car and driver, we've got the, the stats on the, uh, the electric version. 0 to 30 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds. 0 to 60 in 7.9. It does the quarter mile in 16.3 seconds at 86 miles per hour. The top speed is 90 miles per hour. That's uh, limited to 90. I think the five-speed gas version did 103 miles per hour top end. <clears throat> the one I test drove, uh, and then for this price, did feature the uh, SAE uh, combo fast charger uh, outlet. It, uh, it added, I want to say, $870 to the price. Um, the Spark EV features an 82 mile range. And with the fast charger, it, uh, it charges 80% in 20 minutes. So, not too shabby. The downside is try to find an SAE combo fast charger. Uh, while I was waiting for my lunch yesterday in the Denny's, I was uh, looking at uh, plug share and um, I can't think of the other one. Anyway, I was looking at two different apps for um, uh, fast chargers in uh, in Northern California. Uh, slim Pickens. Um, Tesla has quite a few. Matter of fact, they have one um, about 60 miles either direction of us. Uh, one up in Mount Shasta City and one down in, uh, I forget now if it's or Orland or Corning. But anyway, um, they've got them you know, about 120 miles apart at that point. And then the next one is up in Ashland, I believe. So no problem if you own a Tesla. They've got the fast chargers and, and everything. But uh, at this point in time, you know, May 2014, this is a, an $870 option that, depending on where you live, I guess, if you live uh, up here, it's probably not worth the money at this point, but uh, time will tell. And we'll see where they start putting in more of these and see which fast charge uh, option wins out and so forth. But anyway, that's uh, the gas and EV versions of the Chevy Spark in a nutshell. Um, just my uh, impression, I've driven the, uh, the EV one oh, three or four different occasions now. I like it. I keep going back and, and, and test driving them when I see one, just because they're a hoot to drive. Um, very torquey, uh, fun little car. So anyway, we uh, hope to see you next time. And until then, if you have any questions, comments, email us, info at ev4unow.com. See ya.